Hey everyone, in this video we're going to do an unboxing of the newly released Intel Core Ultra 7 265K or 265K. This CPU just launched today, so it is the latest generation of Intel's desktop CPUs. This one does come with a new socket, so it does require a new motherboard, that being the Z890 chipset. So we're going to be taking a look at that. We are going to be doing a PC build video featuring this and a Asus Z790 Maximus Hero. So just to kind of go over the CPU, these CPUs no longer have hyper-threading. So the P cores are only going to be one thread, and then the E cores have always been one thread. On the Core 7, this is an 8 P core plus 12 E core for a total of 20 threads total because there is no longer any hyper-threading. I feel like if you're somebody who was on an older Intel system, for example, a 11th gen or older i7, this could be a worthwhile upgrade, but you do want to consider your options there is definitely some very budget-friendly options from both Intel's LGA 1700 series like the 14700K, for example. Obviously, this is not a 14700K, but this is a three-year-old 12700K on that same socket. So if you have one of these, it's probably going to be better to do a drop-in socket upgrade to get more threads as well as more performance. Whereas if you're someone who's on an older Intel like LGA 1200 or older, this might make some sense. And then the other thing to look out for is the AMD Ryzen 7s as well as the X3D Zen 5 based CPUs that are coming really soon, like the 9800X3D. If you're trying to build a gaming system, that's probably going to be the best choice, but we will reserve final judgment on that once we get closer to those CPUs launch. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So these come in the same sized packaging as the previous i7 CPUs. So not very fancy packaging. The window is on the back, whereas on the AMD Ryzen CPUs, the window is on the front. There's one thing that's different, but they're roughly equivalent. You get a Intel Core Ultra 7. So this is the new logo that they're using for these desktop SKUs. And then the CPU is in this box, which I believe is the same style packaging that they feature in their previous one. So that's it right there. So there it is, Intel Core Ultra 7 265K. It has 1,851 pins. Every single one of those maps to the socket. So that's why the socket is called LGA 1851, and it requires a new motherboard. So just to kind of look at how it compares to some of these older CPUs from Intel, I just want to look at the physical difference. So you can see the older logo looks like that versus the newer one. So that is the older... This is what LGA 1200 and LGA 1150, 1153, 1151, all of those kind of have this more square shape, whereas the newer one is taller and more narrow. They've been doing this taller, narrower design since the Alder Lake 12th gen. So these right here, very similar overall look. One thing I noticed is down here at the bottom left, it is shaped a little bit differently than LGA 1700. Just looking at the back of them, you can see that the newer CPUs have this extra column of pins on the right and the left side, as well as the top and the bottom. And there may be some slight differences inside. So this is the new one. This is the old one. So how it compares with one of AMD's CPUs, that is the AMD CPU with the Ryzen 7 sticker right there. So the SMIDs, there's SMIDs on the middle here on the back, whereas the AMD one, the SMIDs are on the front right there. So but that's generally how they compare. The AMD one is actually a little bit heavier. I think the IHS is really thick though, whereas this one can be prone to... The old Intel IHS had a problem where it could bow inward over time. So they could benefit from contact frames. Though there are contact frames for the AMD one as well. But that's kind of just to give you guys an idea of the overall difference in the CPUs. We will be doing a live stream build, like I said, with this CPU real soon on the channel. So if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to see when I'm doing this build live, get subscribed and hit the bell icon to be notified to see that. If you want to participate in the comment section or the chat, the viewer chat. Anyway, that's going to be it for this unboxing video on the Core Ultra 7 265K. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.